Welcome to Vibes of India. I am Janvi and today the biggest news coming from Gujarat is CM Vijay Rupani's resignation. To discuss different facets of this decision, I am sitting with the CEO, founder and editor of Vibes of India, Deepal Trivedi. And coming right to the point, Deepal, why do you think that CM Rupani has resigned? Uh -huh. Tonight, as we talk after viewing the day's developments, I can very clearly say that Chief Minister Vijay Rupani has not resigned. He has been asked to resign, asked by the high command. And today morning itself, today 11 a.m., uh, Chief Minister Vijay Rupani was personally present at a venue where uh, Prime Minister Modi virtually inaugurated a very ambitious and lavish extravagant Patidar facility for 600 students to stay, study and pursue their further dreams. Even at that point of time, yeah. it was very evident that this would be the last public function of Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Rupani. And, and what do you think are the three mistakes of Vijay Rupani's tenure? <laughs> Just three mistakes. <laughs> okay. If I have to sum up the three mistakes, number one mistake of Mr. Vijay Rupani was COVID mismanagement. Yeah. Number two is perception management. I think perception management and uh, public response matters a whole lot of a deal. It's a big deal in Gujarat and Mr. Rupani failed at managing public perception yes. about himself which in turn you know like he became an image of uh, someone who is non-serious about his job and there were lots of uh, jabs at him yes. and he became a jocular character which yes. is not a good sign for the party which takes power very seriously. This is, uh, so number one is uh, COVID, COVID mismanagement. mismanagement. Number two is failure at perception management. management. And number three, I would say is his sour relationship mm -hmm. is not so very good relationship with the BJP state president CR party. Apart from these three mistakes, do you think that the party that community's resentment with Rupani has also played a role in his resignation? The party that's resentment with the BJP has been there yeah. at least since 2000 and yeah, since 50. Yeah. You know, when Anandi yeah. Ben Patel, who herself was a party that was a chief minister. Yeah. The Patidas are demanding their inclusion in the OBC category and the rebellion that passed, a movement that was spearheaded by Hardik Patel, really dented the BJP's popularity in Gujarat. So the Patidar issue is not a new issue, yeah. right? But Gujarat is about 15 months away from its scheduled date of elections, that is December, December 2022. 20. We do not know if the elections are going to be preponed, but as such, December 2022, and there are no signs of the party, the resentment ebbing down. So, I would not blame Mr. Vijay Rupani, whoever would have been the chief minister. Would have you know, would have had to face this uh, yeah. Patidar rot. Draw. The Patidars also felt like after Anandi Ben Patel was removed and Vijay Rupani was made the chief minister, I think Prime Minister Modi sent a very succinct message that community does not matter, yeah. right? In 2016, when Vijay Rupani became the chief minister of Gujarat, the Patidar agitation was at, at its peak, right? But we have to remember that though this agitation was at its height and then 2017, the assembly elections happened mm. and the Congress had already presumed that they had won that election. 
but Vijay Rupani ensured that the BJP won and pretty comfortably at that. Of course, it was a joint effort and it was all supervised by uh, Mr. Amit Shah and Prime Minister Narendra Modi takes a personal interest since Gujarat is his home state and Gujarat is a model state. But up next, what do you think uh, will be the next CM of Gujarat? Do you think he will be a party dar? Oh, that's a very intriguing question, I would say. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is known to throw surprises. Yeah. Right? So when Jay Rupani was picked up, yeah. no one had predicted Mr. It was so unknown at that time. Yes. So whether it is going to be a party dar or is Mr. Modi going to take Gujarat as some sort of an example for the national, you know, political ecosystem yeah. and pick up someone completely different, maybe from the OBC segment, I don't know. But as of now, if the BJP wants to get back all the Partidar attention, it is very important for them to pick up a Partida as a chief, chief minister. minister because what is happening and this phenomena I would say has started uh, since last October okay. that uh, Partidars and Partidars are uh, known to vote en masse you know they take a very uh, strong staunch but a collective decision, decision yeah very united yeah so this community in October, like and Surat is a hotbed for Patida, Surat, Rajkot and parts of Saurashtra and North Gujarat. So uh, this re these regions backed the Aam Admi Party. In Surat, the Aam Admi Party put up a particularly impressive show. So was it in some other parts. Yeah. So maybe to drive away more Patels, uh, or rather to Demi. check more Patels going towards the Aam Admi Party hmm. or the Congress. They would come Maybe a Partidar uh, name hmm. could do good, you know. And if there is a Partidar name that comes first to my mind, I think it would be uh, Nitin Patel. Yes, true. Or it could be Mans Mansur Mandavia. Mandavia. The Union Minister who also enjoys a very clean reputation. But then, as I say, Mr. Modi is yes. very yeah. much known to throw surprises. Yeah. From Amit Shah to Vijay Rupani, he has consistently thrown surprises and in Gujarat. And Gujarat is a very safe ground for all sorts of experiments, yeah. so we really don't know. No. Yeah. But currently, do you see a vacuum of leadership in Gujarat and do you see BJP's hold on Gujarat going weaker every day? This is a question a lot of people have been asking, especially people outside Gujarat feel that the BJP's hold on, on Gujarat, Gujarat is, is on a weak pitch. Yeah. I don't agree to this okay. because uh, if we look at BJP's history in Gujarat since the mid 90s, a person has never mattered. It's the party ideology that, that has matters. Matter. Here I would like to give you an example that Keshu Bhai Patel mm. right uh, who formed the first BJP government in Gujarat yes. right he'd won with an absolute majority right out of 182 seats Keshu Bhai has the record of winning 122 seats which has not yet been broken or even uh, Chief Minister Narendra Modi could not break, break that it. record and win more seats. But at the same time, when Keshu Bhai Patel left the BJP to form his own outfit called the Gujarat Parivartan Party, yeah. the GPP, people it didn't did support him. Yeah. Because in Gujarat, BJP. in Gujarat, it's not just Mr. Modi, but in Gujarat, it's BJP that commands loyalty. Of course, now Mr. Modi has grown much bigger than the party. So as we saw in the last elections, Mr. Modi belonging to Gujarat, you know, and he being a son of the soil has actually enhanced the bond that 
people in Gujarat have with the BJP. True. So I don't see BJP He's on a you. weak pitch at this point of time. True. Because as such, hmm. as of now, Congress is nearly as good as defunct in this state. And Aam Admi Party is putting in lots of raw energy, hmm. but they lack that maturity and experience yeah. and the strategic tactics, True. you know, to win over the people in the state. Great. Yeah, and I think all we can do is just wait and watch for what comes next and yeah. be ready for all sorts of surprises. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much, uh, Deepal ma'am, uh, for this conversation and for enlightening us about who can be the next CM and what thank are you. the other issues uh, going on within the party. So yeah, thank you so much uh, for all the to all the viewers. Uh, keep watching Vibes of India for more such updates. Thank you so much.